In the central interior of BC is an alluring landscape with a past rich in the spirit of adventure. Those who came to the Caribou, Chilcotin coast, following the gold rush trail of the late 1800s, found riches of another kind. Caribou Chilcotins to me is an essence of pioneering. I knew about the Chilcotin experience and the high alpine riding, but didn't quite know about the trails in Williams Lake and 100 Mile. This place did not disappoint. It had something for everybody. With a long storied history, Wells has reinvented itself as a quaint little arts community with lots to see and do for the whole family. Situated at the gateway to the famous Bowen and Lakes chain and nestled up to BC's premier heritage site, Barkerville, Wells is at the end of the road with the start of adventure. Really ecstatic to realize what a, uh, a bountiful outdoor experience this area is. You can actually stay here in town in Barkerville. It was amazing to be able to kind of take in the history of this, of this cool little uh, gold panning town and then be able to uh, you know, go to the mountain and get unreal single tracking alpine. You really get the sense that uh, what you're riding on has been uh, trod on by pioneers, by miners. Every step of every trail is a, is a little walk back through history. On the interior plateau of BC is a town that has invested its heart and soul into mountain biking. One of BC's best kept secrets, the hills surrounding Williams Lake are laced with ribbons of amazing single track. There's a huge network of trails here. It feels like we spent a few three days here and I don't even think we really scratched the surface. We rode one really phenomenal trail called Snakes and Ladders. It had some really interesting woodwork built up on it. The proximity of the town of Williams Lake makes all the riding super accessible. Being able to shuttle up to Snakes and Ladders, an all-time classic, and then go back and shuttle a more new age trail like Backdoor really exceeded my expectations. Each trail had its own little story to tell and gave you a little bit of everything. Coming down some of these mountainsides, they utilize these gullies, which has been pretty neat. They basically built these kind of berms right through the middle, so you're just really swooping through and they're, uh, they're built so well you don't even really need to scratch your speed. And, Really fun stuff. Offering rustic charm, 100 Mile House has long been a welcoming rest stop on the famed Caribou Wagon Road North. I was super impressed with the diversity of what, they'd, what they had and how they'd use it all. South of 100 Mile House, they've created a little downhill flow trail, really kind of all mountainy in style with a lot of pump and flow, some beautiful boardwalk over some wetlands.
trail builders there really use the terrain. We've got some beautiful bluffs and they've uh, sent some trail right up over that, which was great. We got to ride that through the middle of the day. Now just north of 100 Mile lies 108 Mile Historic Site and up there is some really beautiful grasslands. We just had the most breathtaking views I've ever seen, these big purple and orange and yellow menacing clouds behind us. It was a pretty neat way to end a great uh, few days of riding here in the Caribou. Deep in the wilderness, the South Chilcote Mountains Provincial Park is a spectacular area with unsurpassed beauty, offering luxury in a truly remote setting. Tyax Lodge is the jump off point for serious adventure. It's not an easily accessible uh, alpine experience with a float plane access to the backcountry, so you're just tropped right into a pristine wilderness. The uh, unique hut-to-hut -hut and alpine experience is something that you don't find in very many regions. Uh, yeah, going up Windy Pass, you know, it's a pretty long climb. Coming into the subalpine, you see the switchbacks ahead. It's kind of the carrot in the sky. You know, you might question a bit in the first hour of pushing your bike with a big backpack till why you're doing it. But the moment you see the views at the top, it, it all makes sense. Being high up in the mountains, the weather changes constantly and you gotta just pack accordingly, be prepared, make sure you have the right gear. If you want those spectacular views, sometimes you gotta be a little bit patient. The weather does pass. Time seems to have stood still in the Caribou Chilcotins. The landscape still beckons those adventurous spirits in search of hidden riches. And for mountain bikers, there are still a few pockets of gold left to be found.